G'day everyone, welcome to your Wednesday footy feed. Collingwood captain Scott Pendlebury has backed teammate Marley Williams, who's set to play in a practice match on Sunday, despite being convicted of grievous bodily harm by a WA court. Williams was found guilty in relation to a one-punch attack outside an Albany nightclub. He'll be sentenced in April and the skipper has no issue with Williams playing in the meantime. I think it's for the media. You guys will be talking about it a fair bit. and um, you know, felt like a broken record, but you know, we support Miles and um, you know, we're just looking for a good week on the track up here. Pendlebury was in fact a victim of a violent attack himself back in 2009. That left him concussed at the time. The Pies are at a training camp on the Gold Coast, which culminates with the practice match against the Suns at Metricon Stadium this weekend. Now, after telling us yesterday that Blue Bryce Gibbs was in the Crows' sights, Brenton Sanderson has told us now that star forward Taylor Walker's return from a knee reconstruction may be further away than first thought. His rehabilitation is progressing well, but the Crows, they're taking no chances. It could be anywhere between rounds five and fifteen. I mean, and that's that's serious. I know he, um, he he'll play when he's ready. I mean, this wasn't your typical ACL injury last year. This was uh, more like a car crash. Walker has been missing since round five last year. Port Adelaide looms as one of the big winners of last year's trade period with former Lions midfielder Jared Pollock turning it on in the Power's 25-point NAB Challenge victory over the Bombers last night. I think, uh, you know, his speed uh, around the ground and then his, his kick as well is, is super. I think he, he was sitting at about 100% after 14 odd possessions last night, which is, you know, um, you know, unheard of in this game now. And, uh, you know, that's a great addition to our group. It's not all good news, though, with the club sweating on scan results. They'll determine the extent of the damage to key forward Jay Schultz's ankle. Injury defender Michael Hibbert also having scans on his injured hamstring out of that game. Hopeful he'll be right for round one. He, of course, has a history of soft tissue injuries. He told us today he wasn't about to take any risks last night. Felt a bit of tightness um, running for the ball, so I uh, was chasing someone. So I just went off um, you know, the nab game. No point staying on and get a scan now and see, what, see how it is. Positive, I guess, that Hibbert told us he wasn't feeling sore this morning. Bulldogs defender Robert Murphy has told AFL.com.au of the relief he felt when confirmation came through he doesn't need surgery on his injured elbow. I sort of thought about what the worst case scenario, I hadn't really sort of contemplated it too much, but pretty, pretty wrapped that you know, in a few weeks I'll be back out there ready to go. The 249 game veteran now a chance to head west for the Dogs round one clash with the Eagles. And Richmond has teamed up with ARIA award winning artist Alex Lloyd to put together the Tigers 2014 membership campaign. The reworking of Lloyd's 2003 classic Coming Home sure to be a huge hit with the yellow and black faithful. We've been searching for a place to crawl out more. You can watch the full version on the Richmond website. How good is that, Tigers fans? You've got to love that. Before we go, good news for Hamish McIntosh. Finally set to debut in Cats Colours against Melbourne in Alice Springs on Friday night. That news through for us this afternoon. Tonight, the NAB Challenge continues at Etihad Stadium. We've got the Western Bulldogs and Fremantle. You can stream the game on the AFL Live official app and catch the highlights on afl.com.au. That's it for your Wednesday footy feed. From all the team, I'm Matt Thompson. Catch you soon.